We're going to be doing a high volume image guided injection for uh, mid portion Achilles tendinopathy today. Um, we're going to be injecting a local anesthetic in the form of chirocaine, dipomedron, and 40 ml of um, sterile saline. Now, high volume image guided injections <laughs> is a viable option for patients who've got mid portion Achilles tendinopathy and that have tried other treatment methods like this patient has and hasn't had an adequate um, resolution of symptoms. There's been various papers written on it by Dr. Otto Chan, Dr. Nat Padia. There was a level one study done by Dr. Bolzian, which compared PRP to high volume injections and a sham treatment. And uh, he, it was a double blinded study. And it found that high volume image guided injections was an, a viable treatment option for Achilles tendinopathy. So what we can see here if my cameraman would come a bit closer, is there is bulging of the mid portion of the Achilles just there, and there's a hypoechogenic area. So let me introduce my helper today. He is Mr. Tosif. Say hello, Mr. Tosif. Say hello. Mr. Hi. Hi. Now, Mr. Tosif runs a clinic in Harborn. I'm going to put his details up on the screen. He's very good at injection treatments also. He can also do a variety of different injection treatments for all types of sports injuries. There. Okay, Tosif, can, mm -hmm. you, can you put in the local anesthetic, please? Come on. Okay, now if you change that, if you change that for me, if you can lock it. Now put the decomedium in there, please. Now, start to inject. That's it. You'll see the cage is fat pad. See, and if I put it into a short axis, you'll see it better and that near vascularization will slowly start to go so we're all finished as I was just telling my colleague Tosif um, this patient now will do spend three days of relative rest he won't be doing much running or walking um, no quick no quick walking anyway after that, he would be doing three days of the eccentric program, which is the Alpherson program. Then he would have a gradual return back to full activity. I'm anticipating this patient would have a full recovery in about 10 days, 10 to 15 days. Uh, and hopefully he won't have this issue again because we're going to work on other structures to make sure that his Achilles doesn't have this issue again.